and today's video we are going to continue our analysis of gold and silver uh, you guys are well aware of my bearish long-term forecast on gold and silver i'm expecting gold to drop somewhere around 1270 uh, by august 2024 uh, and I'm expecting um, silver to go down to $10 um, by that time as well. So I will be sharing the long-term forecast uh, video, which I already post has been posted on my YouTube channel, and I'll link it in the description uh, or on the video as well. But for now, we are going to look at the smaller time frame analysis and see how the prices are going to unfold. So let's have a look at uh, hourly time frame. So this is the this is the forecast that we have made. Uh, we were expecting side behavior uh, from the price going upward right over here. Price has gone deeply more uh, than we thought initially, so we'll have to come back here and see, readjust our labeling, see how the, uh, the price is actually happening right now. So now we have a clear look of how the price action uh, has unfolded. We can clearly count 5F structure right from the top um and let me have a look okay so this is the start of the 5 wave structure this is our wave one ending right over here and this is wave two wave three can is easily subdivisible we can easily read it wave four is right over here and then wave four and five ends right over here so let me have a look once again uh, let's so let me go back to 15 minute chart so you can actually see smaller sub Wave. So wave three here, look at the theory. One, two, three, four, and five. So this is wave three is clearly subdivisible, wave one being the largest wave, and wave three is the subdivisible one. And this is our wave five right over here, ending right over. So this clearly explains that the whole structure is a five wave structure. We were kind of including this as an ABC structure, and we're expecting a side wave behavior. Instead, we have started to see the price going all the way over here. And you guys can see there is a small head and shoulder pattern right over here too. So this is the head, and this is our left shoulder and right shoulder. We are expecting right now prices to come down and see uh, side wave behavior for a bit. The side behavior, side wave behavior that I forecasted, I believe, has started uh, right from the over here. So the this we can consider at a double zigzag, and right now we are considering um, <clears throat> this kind of behavior. So I'm expecting a double zigzag. And when that, once that is complete, we are expecting a single zigzag right over here. And then I'm expecting we'll have a 5F structure. And then we'll have another wave right over here. And then we'll move down. Okay. So the indication for the market right now is that when it comes down we'll see a bounce happening so this gives us quite a good uh, range of price action where we can actually trade uh, a lot of people probably good got surprised they were probably expecting a stronger move upward but we can clearly see that the price has actually uh, found first resistance at 37.5 and this is actually resistance between 37.5 and 50 percent so we can drop uh, the eight divisions of the previous price analysis previous previous swing so these are the eight divisions eight equal divisions of pre previous swing here we go these are previous swing hour and there we go so this is our 37.5 and this is our 50 percent this kind of reaches in between the 50 percent so i'm expecting that in this swing when the last swing we will approach the price at 50 percent okay i'm expecting this uh, the double three structure this is a double zigzag or we can call it the first leg of the double uh, triple three structure and within this uh, the x wave is a flat correction and then we are expecting a zigzag ha uh, sorry a flat correction in the end as well so a zigzag a flat and a flat over here so this is what we're expecting right now uh, and this will actually create a lot of distribution people who are not sure they will be distributing a lot of it and this will become uh, one of the major proofs and then we'll see uh, major major down move downward about 200 to 300 uh, price drop right from around 2050 all right so let's have a look at silver and see how silver is doing once again we were expecting kind of the range to happen on a smaller uh, smaller gap but the range is happening on a larger gap which is pretty good it is bringing a lot of trading opportunities to us and uh, 
a similar kind of structure I'm looking at the similar kind of structure in Silur as well so you can simply see that the larger structure is going to be coming first part of the flat and uh, second part of the flat third part of the flat and then we are kind of expecting uh, another flat over here all right and then we'll go downward from over here so this is the analysis that i'm expecting uh, that is kind of sine wave behavior in gold and silver it will generate a lot of opportunities um the uh, there is a possibility when prices come down it if it passes through the bottom very clearly that will indicate that the correction has already stopped over here same with gold as well we have when prices come down over here we have to look at the price behavior over here there's higher probability of it in going in the side wave price beha uh, price behavior but if prices are easily penetrating through it and we see a retest and come down again that will be a confirmation that we have seen the correction ending over here i'm not expecting for the prices to fly over uh, what if I'm wrong? Yeah, if the price actually can uh, go through, shoot through 50% uh, with this very close uh, 2061, so you're hardly $20 away and let's push it another $10. Let's say if it goes to 2070, that will be indication that my analysis is wrong even on a smaller time frame. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.